What if you accidentally connect your 220 volt motor to a 110 volt power source, or vice versa? Well, let's break it down. First things first, it's essential to match the motor voltage with the power supply. Mismatching can lead to a variety of issues. If you connect a 220 volt motor to a 110 volt source, the motor won't get enough power, and here's where the trouble starts. Running a motor at a lower voltage can cause it to overheat. The motor was designed to work efficiently at a specific voltage, and when you cut that in half, it has to work extra hard to do the same job, drawing higher current, becoming hotter, and then burnout. Imagine sprinting a marathon, it's not going to end well. Now, let's talk about torque. Torque is the twisting force that makes a motor spin. Lower voltage means lower torque. So, not only is your motor struggling, but it's also not delivering the power it should. It's like trying to turn a big screw with a tiny wrench, not the best situation. Please, give us a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button, thanks for that. What about the flip side? What happens if you connect a 110 volt motor to a 220 volt power source? Well, my friends, it's like giving a rocket booster to a tricycle. The motor will spin way faster than it's designed to, leading to catastrophic failure. Picture this, your motor is spinning like crazy, generating heat like a summer barbecue. It's like putting your motor on a roller coaster without brakes, exciting at first, but disastrous in the end. The motor windings insulation would break down and the motor would burn out. Now, what's the takeaway here? Always double check your motor voltage and power supply to avoid these electrifying mishaps. Mismatching can lead to overheating, reduced efficiency, and a fried motor. Not exactly the recipe for success, right? That's it for today's electricity frenzy, folks. If you enjoyed this jolt of knowledge, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to share with your fellow electricians.